Hi guys, Dorothea here in the studio. Today we're going to be covering off tinted waxes. Um, tinted waxes uh, or coloured waxes is a very exciting thing because it kind of expands um, the possibilities for you. You can, with Vintro chalk paint, tint your waxes in any colour you like. What I love about these paints is that they're very highly pigmented. So when you tint your wax, the wax still remains creamy, still remains buttery, um, but it's a coloured wax. And sometimes, you know, a dark wax, a black wax, or a white wax, um, it's not what you're after. You're wanting depth and colour, you're wanting to bring out the detail. Um, and having that freedom of colour um, allows for a wide range of finishes. So tinting waxes is very, very easy to do. Um, you see here I've just decanted um, three bits of clear, wa clear wax on the board. I'm just going to pop open the tin. And all you do is you put just a little drop of wax. You know, the more intense you want the colour, the, the more your kind of um, Vintro chalk paint you'll put in there. And then you just mix, mix it up. Just like that. You can see that wax turning into a beautiful um, green. I'm going to be using this wax over um, this piece of wood here which I've previously painted. This has been previously painted in Verdant which is a beautiful soft pale green. I'm going to be using Vintro's Pure Bristle Brush to apply my wax. Very light to hold in the hand, um, it's got a flat top and um, it's, really, it's a really neat brush for waxing simply because you don't have to overwork it. Often with waxing people just load it up too much and they kind of press down and put way too much pressure down and kind of buffing and waxing at the same time. What the um, brush encourages you to do is really just lightly apply it on. So all you're going to do is you're going to pick up your coloured wax, which is still creamy, still beautiful, um, and you're just going to apply it on like that. And then you're going to grab your rag, clean lint free rag, fold it up, and you're going to lightly take off the excess. And there you are. You have a green wax. Um, the colour I'm using today is Brooklands. It's a, um, a darker green over Verdant, which is a pale green. And it's a beautiful, beautiful effect. Um, creates a beautiful depth in, in the colour. Um, really, really lovely finish. The other one, um, the other coloured wax I'm going to do today um, is I'm going to do Nightfall. So Nightfall is a dark blue. And again, just a little drop of um, Vintro chalk paint is all you need. Give it a little mix. And you need to mix a little bit. And I'm, this time I'm going to make it a little bit more subtle. So I'm not going to use too much um, chalk paint in there. Just want to darken it a little bit. And I'm going to apply it on. This piece has got lots of beautiful carved detailing, so it's a great example of um, what a coloured wax can do. Um, if you have a piece that doesn't have a lot of detailing, it's a flat piece of furniture, what you want to do is you want to paint um, with Vintro chalk paint straight out of the pot after stirring, of course, and um, create lots of texture, you know, brushing it every which way, create lots and lots of brush strokes. So that when you apply your coloured wax, it sits in between the brush strokes and gives you um, a beautiful effect. Now I've applied that on and now all I'm going to do is grab my rag and work it off. 
and I've done a more subtle um, mix with the nightfall just to give it a little something more and look at that beautiful depth and that color with the blue wax so there you go so you've got um, Brooklyn's and then you have nightfall so that's pretty exciting you know given that you can really detail and wax in any color you like tinted um, or colored waxes or vintros colored waxes are very very easy to use um, one of the main key things is that it still remains waxy buttery creamy because you don't need a lot of paint in there um, to color it so Vintro has a range of metallics um, that gold that comes in gold silver and rose gold um, and although this is you know you, you can use this on furniture it's also a great um, paint to mix in with your waxes for a bit of a luster and a bit of a shimmer just going to give my silver paint a bit of a mix now the silver paint is not a chalk paint um, so I'm just going to pour a little bit in there I'll grab my spoon and I'm going to mix it It's up to you the level of um, metallic paint that you want in there. If you put quite a lot on, you'll get quite a strong luster. Um, if you put just a little bit in there, you'll just get a, like a little shimmer through your paint finish. But it's really, really pretty. It's all mixed. I'm going to grab my brush and I'm going to um, do it over this board here that I've painted. Um, and Verdun as well previously. I'm just going to pick up my silver wax and I'm just going to brush it over the top. You probably can't see from where you are and we'll try and take some photos at the end of this video to show you but it allows, it's adding a beautiful beautiful um, luster, silver touch to it, a bit of a shimmer, it's really really pretty. Very, very subtle, um, a beautiful kind of metallic shimmer over the whole lot. Um, I don't know if you can see from there, um, but really, really beautiful. So it's as simple as that. Um, a little bit of Vintro clear wax, uh, Vintro chalk paint. You can tint it in any color you like. You can even use the metallics to create a metallic wax. Um, have fun. <laughs>